uh, I can never find like an art form that I liked and then find out my mate started, uh, started doing graffiti and he'd been doing it for like a year. Um, so yeah, went down there, went down to see him one day and uh, he just sort of gave me a kind of pain and left me to it. So that's what got me into it and I just, yeah, just really enjoyed it and I've been gone ever since. Fair enough. So why do you paint them? Is that because you're a friend? Yeah, it's, uh, well, it's like, sort of like a hobby, isn't it? It's just something I enjoy doing, something that passes the time, and like something, yeah, just something I really enjoy. Right, how long have you been painting? Uh, well, I've been painting four or five years now, I've been on and off recently now. Well, yeah. So how did you come up with your tag? Um, well, I did have an old tag. Um, I don't really want to say it on here just in case I link. But um, no, it was just like sat in my room one day and just started sketching Ness. Or uh, well, just started sketching random letters and started sketching Ness. And then the like, pieces and dubs and stuff just like popped onto the page and I was thinking, oh shit, this is good. So like, I sort of changed my name to Ness like, last, last year sometime. Who's your favourite like, other artist? Oh mate, there's plenty of them. Um, it's Reebok from MSK. Uh, he's just a dog. But I think probably my all round favourite graffiti artist would probably be Soccer or Soccer from Bristol. I mean, his style is just something I've always admired. Everything, like every time I see it, it's like fucking hell. I want to be this good someday. Have you ever gotten in trouble? Um, not as such, no. I try to avoid trouble as much as I can. But obviously if you can't avoid it and it can't be helped, then shit happens, doesn't it? Fair play. Um, like what relevance do you think graffiti has like in the uh, general art world today? Uh, it sort of plays like, a big part. I mean, it's up, obviously it's brought up by hip hop and stuff, but since banks have started doing stuff, then <laughs> yeah, it's a bit set out, but yeah, it's, I think it plays like a big part because you see all like these commercial people, like Nike and all the big people doing shots in front of graffiti and stuff like that to like, help sell their products and stuff and you get like designs and t-shirts that have been done by graffiti artists and yeah, I think it plays quite a big part. So do you agree with the way it's become more, like as a more commercial available product? I do and I don't. I mean, Banksy, yeah, I sort of rate him, but I sort of don't, but I don't like the way he sold himself out. But then you get, like, other exhibitions by proper artists, like Mad C, Reebok, and all those lot do, like, proper art shows, yeah. and display, like, proper graph, and not just stencils. Like, I agree with that, because obviously they're making ends meet by doing shows like that, and doing commissions for people and stuff. So, yeah, I, I'm, like, sort of in the middle, in between it all. I like some parts of it but I don't like other parts. <laughs>